He'll go to the left of Walensky. Third down and five. Comes in motion, Edwards. They'll throw out to him in the flat at the 10. Bryant going for the pylon. Drops his shoulder. They knock him out of bounds at the one. What a gorgeous play from Brian McClendon. They bring Edwards in motion like he's going to go behind. They whip him back there, throw it to the flats. He's all alone, a nine-yard gain, and knocked out of bounds. It's first and goal, Carolina from the one. When your running game is going okay, you can use that running back as a decoy. We did a good job with it. Alensky packs him in, everybody tight. And Vanderbilt's going to call their last time out, it looks like. Going on the field, the runner was short of the goal line. The uh, previous play is under review. Brian Edwards, apparently, while he's into the next play in motion, he's lobbying that he actually got in. So he may have moved the football inside the pylon. Boy, there was a big collision right there at the one. Took one step at the one and reached in. Oh, man. Okay, that's a touchdown. Oh, what an athletic move. Edwards you know, taking that, two guys. That was that plus the catch he made last week. Ridiculous. That made, what is that, ESPN some? Top 10. Top 10, yeah. Yeah, Brian Edwards. If you get a chance to watch this tomorrow on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp, do so. We'll certainly have it as highlighted. But Edwards hit by two guys at the one. Keeps both feet in and reaches out, and if he doesn't get it in, it's close. How about still his left hand? Is brilliantly his, athletic. Is his left hand down. I think he's still well is. off the ground. No, he's still well off the ground. Flying, there, yeah. He's still looking. Yeah, flying. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Isn't that cool? God, that's beautiful. Tommy, did you, I've never asked you this, do you run for many touchdowns? Did they do that much with you? Did you run for scores? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I um, um, I did. Um, I, uh, probably the, the one I remember the most was fourth down and one against Duke down here, and I ran it. I kept it kind of like did there. I kept it off tackle and went 48 yards for a touchdown. Oh, that goodness. was my longest one, but um, other than that, it was kind of short runs, but um, I was a pretty good runner, pretty good pass. Yeah. <laughs> no, we ran a little bit. We ran the kind of the kind of version of the option with, out of the eye formation and had Rudy Holloman and, uh, and Warren Muir, Tommy Simmons, those guys back there. So they were, they were very effective, great offensive line, and case not to sneak it outside and score, but not very often. Let's go down to Jamar Nesbitt. I'm glad you guys came back down to me. I'm going to go ahead and say that this one is a touchdown. Let's see if I'm right. You're always right, Jamar. After further review, the really on the field stands. Will Muschamp is lobbying hard for his senior wide receiver. Jamar, you're 0 for 2 on the day. Yep. Not that I'm keeping track. Hey, we love you, Paul. We're going to come down to you in about an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll be down to you in the end of the fourth quarter. <laughs> it looked like one to us as well, bud. I agree with you. Yeah. Yes, sir. 